Well, the temperatures are getting milder outside, as you saw for today, and a lot of people can't wait to get out in the garden. So what can you do right now? Tim Pollock, who is an outdoor floriculturist at the Chicago Botanic Garden, is here with us to talk about everything spring. And uh, it, I found something in my garden yesterday. Uh, my wife said, hey, look at that. You know, underneath some leaves, we had some stuff sprouting Some bulbs up. coming up. There it is already. Yep. What is that? Those look like daffodils there, Ed. Okay, yeah. great. Well, yeah. they're, they're coming up in my garden. So people it, are going to start to see that stuff all coming up. What now. are the first things that we start to see here? Do we have an example of some of the Yeah, first you're going to start to see poking their heads as some of the Narcissus, and this is one of the earlier ones, uh, the small flowered tete a tetes. Tulips are going to start to show up here in the next couple weeks. Mm -hmm. And as they start to show up, what you're going to want to do is protect them from rabbits and squirrels. And oh, sure, because those are those are young and tender, right. and this is a liquid fence during rabbit repellent. We've used this. We also have used like Irish spring soap. Irish spring for soap. For a generic version of that cut up in blocks, and it actually worked. Mm -hmm. I've heard even human hair scattered around would really? work too as okay, well. Really? Okay, I can't afford that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So is it time to also do a little pruning? It is. This is a great time to to prune uh, trees and shrubs that bloom in the in the summer or the fall. And what you want to do is, because you can see it without the leaves, you want to prune, like this is a dead branch, you uh -huh. want to take that right back to the stem, not going all the way right next to the stem, but just leaving that little knob right like that. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay. Look for any other crossing branches that you can see, and, and certainly you can shape it to get it down to size as, okay. a, as well. All right, good stuff. Now, early on like this, you're taking a little bit of a chance when you plant this early. It could right. turn cold. Are there some plants that we can safely put out there and not have to worry about having a cold snap? You bet. Chicago weather, especially in the spring, is, is very unpredictable. Um, what we want to look for at the garden centers, you're going to see a lot of the cool season annuals, like mm -hmm. pansies, violas, primrose. These are Persian buttercups. This is a oh, great, very isn't nice. that wonderful? Yeah. Uh, this is another one that's kind of newer on the market. This is Nemesia, and it comes in a lot of different colors. Mm -hmm. African daisies. Oh, very Those nice. are wonderful, and again, comes in a lot of colors. Very All of nice. these can tolerate cold, a little bit of frost, no problem. Uh huh. Yeah, I know you have some mulch out here. Mmm. Yeah, it smells good. Yeah. Um, what you want to do with, and this is another great time of the year, the spring, is mm -hmm. get out in your garden, add a couple of inches of mulch to it as you're planting your new plants, mm -hmm. add your mulch right to the top of there sure. and protect them as even, even more good. so. Chicago Botanic Garden, a great source for all the stuff. Tim Pollock's out there along with all the other professionals that keep the garden going. And don't forget, the big antique fair is going on there starting in two weeks. It's uh, 19th, I believe it starts. April 19th. Great right. programs out there that you can actually take part in at the antique fair as well. So go to our website, cbschicago.com, click on links and numbers, find out more about the Chicago Botanic Garden. Great information.